Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Snorkel. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. Snorkel is an AI power tool where students record and share their reasoning, and then they receive instant AI powered feedback. Now, Basically, the way this works is you're going to create a problem, a question, or a prompt for your students, and then they're going to record themselves, you know, solving the problem or answering the question while explaining their reasoning. Um, and if needed, they can draw on a digital whiteboard while they're speaking. Now, the AI is then going to review the student's explanation based upon the guidance that you have provided. So you can set up an exemplar answer or a, a you know a, a rubric to guide how it's to be actually graded. Then the AI gives personalized feedback to the student on their work. I absolutely love this tool because having students record themselves to explain their understanding, this is an excellent way to really assess what a student knows or what they can do. It also helps address those academic integrity concerns because they're using their real words to explain their understanding. It's not something they can just easily copy and paste. The challenge is, you know, how long it would take a teacher to normally watch all of these recordings. If you had, you know, 125 students and everyone did a two minute recording to explain how to solve a problem, that's a lot of time for you to watch all those recordings. It's just not all that practical, even though it's such a valuable thing. Well, with Snorkel, this is no longer a daunting task. Let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to pop on over to my Snorkel account here. Uh, and you see I've got a sample class that I've got uh, set up here. Um, I'll go ahead and go on into my, into my class. And you can see my uh, demo assignments that I've got here. Let me first start by just showing what an assignment looks like. And then we'll do one with a demo student just so you can see uh, what it looks like from the student's point of view as well. Um, so here's one, uh, the rectangular frame assignment. Let's pull that one up. Um, and let's look at the, uh, the the settings here for this assignment. So basically, this is what we did to create the assignment. Uh, we give it a, a title, and then there's a whiteboard where as the teacher, you can set the stage. You can leave the whiteboard blank. You don't have to put anything on. In this case, we put the problem here on the whiteboard as well, uh, but you can also leave it blank if it, if it just needs to stay blank. But that's that kind of sets up the problem. And then there's some directions here um, telling them to record a short video explaining how to solve the problem. Um, and then further down, there's some options like, you know, can the students see each other's work? That's up to you. You know, if after they submit theirs, can they also view other people's? Um, and can they leave comments on each other's as well? I've got those turned off here for this example. Then further down is where the AI comes in. You can decide, can AI give feedback on the student? Which is, yes, that's exactly what we want it to do. Uh, there's two main options for that though. Is it teacher approved or auto approved? Teacher approved means AI is going to create feedback, but you need to then approve each one of them. Um, or you can put it on, on auto approve and just gets automatically approved. The students get the feedback right away. Um, and then you could go in and take a look at it later yourself. Uh, next up, we can choose the subject area. Um, they just have math and science listed at the moment, but really you can just choose general because this can work with any subject. I know the focus is more math and science just because those are areas where this sort of explanation makes a lot of sense. But honestly, you could, you could use this in any subject area at all and also grade level from elementary up through college. Uh, we then put in the prompt uh, and the question. Now you're going to say, oh, isn't this the same as what we did above? Yeah, above I was putting in the prompt and the question for the student to read. And then down here below, I'm putting it in for the AI to read. This is explaining to the AI that basically what we've got is a, uh, a frame for artwork that's being created with a perimeter of 146 centimeters. And uh, we know that the length is going to be 29 centimeters. So what should the width be? Um, and then we have a spot for the the expected answer. So again, the AI, we're not just leaving it up to the AI to figure out everything here. We are providing guidance. And I think that's a really important thing. You know, it's not that AI is replacing a teacher. It is supplementing us. And so this is not AI grading for you. It's what I'm calling guided grading. You're providing an exemplar or you're providing a rubric. You're showing it how to do the grading. And then it's just going to rep 
replicate that. It's going to work from that. So in this case, I'm saying, well, hey, Tyler's frame should be 46 centimeters wide because the student should take the full amount, subtract off, you know, the 229s, get 88, divide that by two to get 44. So I need to give an, an explanation of what uh, we're expecting to get as an answer. So that's how you set up one of these uh, uh, questions. And again, it doesn't have to be all math related. I know in this case, um, it did look, you know, that was a math example there, but here's one on animal adaptations that I did. Uh, here's one on um, second class levers. Uh, you know, uh, here's one on, on the Bill of Rights. So this really could be any particular topic where having students speak to explain their understanding would be valuable. And that obviously can apply to any subject area. So let's go ahead and try this out as a student. Um, I'll go ahead and pull over uh, a demo student here. Um, and uh, I've joined the class with a link. It's just, you just give a simple link and they can click and join the class. Um, so let's go ahead and pull up the rectangular frame um, example here and say, okay, I wanna start my response. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on start response. And you'll notice there's a record button at the bottom. When I hit that, it's going to start recording. And at this point, it's going to record everything I say and everything I draw on the screen as I go to solve this problem. So uh, let's try that out. We'll hit record screen. Give it permission. All right, to solve this problem, I need to start by drawing a rectangle. So I am going to draw a rectangle on the screen, and then I'm gonna label what I already know. I know that the length is 29 centimeters, so I'll put 29 on one side and 29 on the other side. And I know the entire perimeter is 146 centimeters. So I'm trying to figure out what the uh, width of the frame is going to be. So I'm going to take the length of 29 centimeters and I'm going to double that to account for both sides of the rectangle. So that is going to give me 58 centimeters that's already used up from the two lengths. I'm going to subtract that from the total perimeter and so that is going to leave me with 88 centimeters left over to be split between the width. Well, since there's two widths, I need to uh, divide that 88 by two, and that should give me 44 centimeters. So the width would be 44 centimeters for the rectangular frame. All right, now I can play that back if I want. Um, and if, as long as I'm happy with it, I'll click Submit. And it's gonna take a little bit of time, but basically what's gonna happen is the AI is now going to take everything the student said, and it's going to convert text to, or excuse me, uh, speech to text. It's gonna take everything the student said, and it's gonna make a transcript of it. Um, really what it's grading here, it's grading their explanation. So it's important that you let the students know, please be verbose, explain yourself, You know, walk through step-by-step step what you're doing, because it's gonna take their words, it's gonna turn that into text, and it's going to use that text as the basis for grading uh, what the student's response was. Um, now we can wait a moment to see it will it will you know generate this for the student but oh it, there it is it actually is already done i thought we may have to pop over and take a look at some other pre-made ones but that was actually pretty quick um so i can say okay awesome let's go ahead and see how we did here it says uh we uh, got it correct and we had a rating of excellent let's go ahead and click on it and take a look so what you're going to notice here is over on the right hand side we're getting our feedback and it grades you in two ways i love this about snorkel it gives a grade for whether it's correct or not. So it's going to mark it correct or incorrect. But then it also gives a grade on the explanation uh, up to four out of four points as to how well you explained it. And so if you look down through here, it's got a nicely timestamped saying great job drawing and labeling the rectangle. Uh, well done done on doubling the length to account for both sides. Excellent work on dividing the remainder by two. Fantastic. So there we go. We've got our feedback. Now, what if it wasn't done correctly, though? Let's let's look at some other examples. I'll pull that rectangular frame back up and show you. Um, so, for example, 
Here's one that I did. I'll pull this one up um, where the answer is actually incorrect. I got the answer wrong. I wound up with 49 instead of 44. And you'll notice what happened was a subtraction error. When I was subtracting here, I got 98 instead of 88. And it catches that. It says, oops, it looks like there was a mistake in your subtraction. Can you try subtracting 58 from 146 again? So even though I got it incorrect, still got a fair on the explanation because I'm understanding most of the concepts. And I love that, that a student could get something wrong, but that doesn't mean that they don't understand. It could just be, well, we made a little math error in there. We're still getting a good picture of the student's actual understanding. Now, contrast that with this one here. Uh, here's one I did where the answer is correct. I put down 44 is the answer, but the explanation is a zero out of four. <laughs> so because I didn't explain, I just said the answer is 44 and just pretty much wrote it down. So again, yeah, right answer, but no, this is not a good explanation. And so what's so awesome about this is you can have your students answering in their own words, explaining, and the AI is going to follow your guidance to grade and provide feedback. And then you can pop in and take a look and play back all the students' recordings as needed. And um, then you can add, of course, your own personal comments. So see below, um, I can supplement whatever the AI said with what I would like to say here as well. Now, Snorkel is still pretty new. So if you would like to try this out, um, in the blog post that goes along with this, I do have a demo sign up form that Snorkel has provided that will allow you to um, sign up to be able to try out uh, the, uh, the the tool. Um, if you just want to see what it's like from a student's point of view, I've got a link to my demo class. You can use that link and you can try out any of the activities that I've got there to see what it looks like as a student. But again, for you to do this as, as a teacher, there's a form that you can fill out. They're also looking for uh, schools to pilot this on a broader level as well. Uh, so really exciting to see where this goes. Again, they are in the early access phase now, so it's completely free at the moment. We'll have to wait and see in the future as to what you know the free version versus a potential paid version may cost. Uh, but really um, excited, uh, as, especially as a previous math teacher, uh, to see AI being used in such a powerful way to give guided grading and feedback to students. So definitely check out Snorkel. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.